Hey, and I'm here to give you some homework help. You've been finding the area of both rectangles and triangles, and now we're going to find the area of polygons. Polygons are closed-sided shape. They typically have more than five sides. So if we look at this shape here, this is problem number two on our homework, and it's a five-sided shape, okay? Five-sided shapes are called pentagon. So let's go ahead and try to find the area of this shape. We're going to rely on some of the strategies that we've already been working on, which is making rectangles triangles, and we've been working on decomposing shapes, okay, and looking for the total. So let's go ahead and create another shape on the exterior of our pentagon, okay? And if you like this tool, it is available on the web. It's just the Math Learning Center GeoBoard. I'm using these virtual elastics. I'm creating another shape. And this is going to help me get started with trying to find the area of this pentagon. So now I have a shape that's a little bit more familiar. Yeah, it has a length and width, base and height. I can go ahead and mark these sides here. I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Side lengths are the same. It's four by four. So the area equals, oh, that's right, four times four, which is 16. This is a square. I could also do area equals side squared, right? So the area is 16, okay? But we know we added in some squares here to make it a, um, a square, right? So we have to figure out how we can subtract those out because that's going to give us the area of the polygon that we're working with. So I'm going to grab another elastic, okay? And let's see. Let's grab this red color here, get a little bit of a contrast going on. And I'm going to see if I can make another shape um, that is a little bit more familiar, okay? All right, here we go. Got this. And, aha, uh -huh. all right. Now I can see um, this is another square. It's two by two, right? What I'm going to do is find the area of this triangle here because I actually added in right here this section. See that? I added in this part to make it a square. So I need to subtract that out, okay? So let's go ahead and think about um, how we find the area of a triangle so I can see the part that I added in. I pretty much added in another triangle at the top, which means I'm going to add in another triangle on this side, okay? Remember our formula for area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. Write that as a fraction. Okay, so we can look for the base, which is at the bottom, and the height, which is that right angle, right? Those perpendicular lines here, they meet. So it is two by two. So the base times the height is four, right? Divided by two, because we want half, triangles half of that square. We cut it on the diagonal. Okay, so now I know, haha, -ha, I added in two. I added in two up here to make it a square. So if I added in two here, I also added in two here. Those are exactly the same size. Ha, huh, but now let's look at the bottom. It's not the same. Those are different size triangles. We are going to go ahead and get another string, and it will help us see visually what that shape looks like, okay, boom, boom, and boom, up, oh, now we get a rectangle. So I added in this triangle here. And so we're going to use the formula to the same thing, the area equals base times height divided by 2, or 1 half base times height, and I can see that for this shape, this triangle here that I added in, I have a base of 1 and a height of 2. So the area equals 2 times 1, which is 2 
divided by 2, right, because we're looking for 1 half of the base times height, and that is 1. 1 half of 2 is 1. So now we know that this uh, area here that I added in is 1, oops, which means that this area that I added in to make um, this square here on this side is also going to be 1. All right, so now we know the parts that I added in. We'll go ahead and add them up, and then we'll subtract them from the square area that I found originally. We have 2 plus 2, which is 4, and 2 more down the bottom is 6. So now all we need to do is subtract that out. 16 minus 6 is 10, and remember we're dealing with centimeters. So our answer is 10 centimeters squared. All right. So um, don't forget, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment, and I will also work out another problem for you.